Whoa, almost fell there. Anyway, come over here, jump over the puppets. Nobody likes puppets. Hmm. Maybe they're related to Pinocchio, I don't know. They're like Pinocchio's dog with top hats. I don't know why they'd have top hats. Maybe they're a real boy or something. Yeah. So now we have to go back over here. See, already backtracking for treasures. That is outrageous. Um, if you haven't noticed by this point in the game, you can hear the sound the treasure chest makes when it's activated. The switches make that sound when they're pushed, too. It's like... It's a little whine. It's kind of quiet, but it is hearable. There's a bam. Oh, a bomb. Move. Bomb. Move. I don't want to blow up. Okay, good. Hey, blew up the vampire bat guy anyway. Oh my god, it's Twilight. <laughs> I, from what I saw of the first Twilight movie, I haven't seen the entire thing, but only the first Twilight movie. I haven't seen any bits of the others. From the parts I saw of the first Twilight movie, it doesn't look like a very good movie at all. Like, the entire movie, it seems like they're sitting there talking about how Edward's a vampire. She's like, oh, you're a vampire. He's like, yeah, I'm a vampire. I do vampire things, and I suck blood, and I glitter in the sun. She's like, oh, you're a vampire. And he's like, yeah, I'm a vampire. <laughs> there's like a thousand scenes of them just talking about how he's a vampire. But then again, I didn't see the entire movie, so I may be completely wrong. Please correct me if I'm wronger than I think I am. But anyway, these guys you can only see in the mirror, and remember, in the mirror the control's kind of inverted, so... They'll cast spells at you, just like magic opas. Come on. This guy looks Italian with his finger-holding strategy. I'll get that, um, trapdoor off to the right in a little bit. Wait, there's a strategy you can use here to, um, kind of make this terrible portrait fight easier. If this blimp would fire... <laughs> <laughs> oh, those things look so funny. When they're getting shot out of the blimp, they're like, I'm flying at you! I need to stop making weird sounds like that. It's probably really, really annoying. Or really, really funny, I don't know. I don't watch my videos. Okay, come on. Spit out your barrel. What are these guys in barrels made out of the snow barrels at least made a little bit more sense than this because they were like snowmen in barrels this is just like a round sack in a barrel so what why did this guy have him in him anyway maybe he ate him and he's like oh i can use you later i'll come up and eat you i'll go to your house and take your fork and your knife and your spoon and then i will get a cucumber and sprinkle on some pepper using a turkey baster and then i will chop you in half and eat you up that's yeah, probably what he said. Yep. Anyway, for this part, don't go down there just yet. Hit the pink switch, which is supposed to be the last treasure, but ooh, speedrunning tactics, because I am the coolest. Let's walk over here. Bam! We get the treasure. I, I bet you guys wish you were as efficient as me. I bet you wish that you could play Wario World as efficiently as I do. Especially after five practice runs. This is so impressive, guys. <laughs> but yeah, I practiced this stage so much, and I'm gonna practice the last stage just as much. So that I know where to go and what to do. Come on, get up there. Now, um, for these, you have to time them so you fly across right. For this one, um, jump off while you're getting the extra propulsion from that, but don't hold forward, hold back. Like, right as soon as you get off, start holding back. So that you don't fly off the edge. Which I have done many times before. In real life. When I fly off the edge of cliffs that lead to bottomless pits, it's not too fun. Unless you have a parachute. Then you just float down gently. Forever. And ever. Come on, get up. Get up there. There you go, Wario. Here we go, Wario. Here we go. That's the last treasure. Here we go, Wario. Here we go. That's the last treasure. Now, for this one, it's pretty easy. The mean MC inside. Oh, I forgot about the boss of this stage. The boss of this stage is pretty fun. Anyway, for this one, just jump up there and. 
don't run into the spikes. Usually I don't even have to try to time it, really. You, most of the time you won't hit it, even if you're not trying to time it. It's not that bad. But just corkscrew a conk there. Corkscrew conk across. And you'll get the thing. Try to do a ground pound combo. Um, so yeah, what's going on with you guys? I recently started my summer job, which, well, not recently, really. I started it like a week ago or so. Um, she's paying me $10 an hour, which, holy crap, that is a lot of money for just gardening. But she has a lot of work to be done. She hasn't had the time to tend to her garden because she's there's legal matters and family matters in her life and everything. And so I'm getting a bunch of moolah. Made like 120 bucks so far. I work two to three hours a day. Paid 10 bucks an hour. Yeah, that's... I almost feel guilty for taking that much money, but... I insisted that she pay me less. I'm like, come on, you said you were going to pay me minimum wage. Why are you paying me so much? And she's like, oh no, I insist that you take it. And we sat there and argued for like five minutes, and she wouldn't let me take less, which is weird, but oh well. She's all generous. Anyway, let me talk about this boss. This is the mean MC. What, what, what? As you can see, he has this spinning cane attack and this spinning cane attack, which you can still attack him while he's doing it. Once you hit him a couple times, he'll go inside these cups, and then you have to follow which cup he's inside. If you hit the cup and nothing comes out, then you know you got it right, because if you hit the wrong cup, then three ninja birds, like the ones we saw earlier, will come out. While he's doing his cane attack, you can still attack him, so be a little bit more efficient. And then he does that spinny thing, which is actually kind of hard to avoid if you don't get behind him, like, instantly. And I'm really not good at this boss, because my eyes aren't usually fast enough to follow him around. He gets faster and faster every time he goes inside his cup. Just try to avoid that, and you can hit him a bunch while he's doing it. Anyway. Uh, one in the middle. Yeah. swing a dinga Other than that, there's not much really to this boss. He doesn't have a lot of attacks. Pretty simple. He's fun, though. He's creative. What's up with that purple spriteling jumping in the background? Oh, God. I think this one. Hey, I got it. First try. Got all of those. First try. You're going down. Rawr. Where'd he, where'd he go? Doesn't he come back up? Oh, I thought he came back up. Jump off the edge, hurry! <laughs> oh, Wario, you are a master of teleportation. Telepol. And that does it for stage... whatever this is. Seven? Yeah, because I practiced it so much, that was a really short stage. In two parts, we finished it up. I am proud, and there is Wario striking a pose that makes him look as sexy as ever. We're unbreaking Wario's heart slowly as we go along. I'm so proud of myself. And there opens up the door. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next part, we will go into, actually, the final stage of Wario World. I will see you all then. Ta-ta!